Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss about a, one of the most powerful feature of Pabli Connect, which can implement if else logic condition inside your automation workflows. This means that when one thing happens in one application, the workflow should trigger and perform a specific action in a different application. But if another thing happens in the same trigger application, the workflow should perform a different action in, a, in the same application okay, or in a different application. So this is called a if else logic condition and you can apply this inside your automation workflows using router feature of Pabli Connect. So with the help of router, you can create conditional paths according to some if conditions and you can able to perform an automated action according to the conditions in different applications. And you can do this just by setting up your workflow without any coding. So let me show you how it's done. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste the link of this page in the description so that you can sign up for free and then follow me till the end of this video and you will learn the feature I'm about to tell you. So let's jump back uh, to the workflow we have created. This is the workflow guys and in the trigger you can see I have connected jot form application. So uh, our trigger is that uh, I have created a form and when someone fills the form this workflow should trigger and in the form I have uh, options available for the form submitters. Let me show you the form. So guys, this is the form I have created and here I am asking the name of the people, the email address, phone number and here I have this choose your gender option. From here, people can select the gender and I have created a spreadsheet and here I have two sheets. One is for the details related to related to males and others for the females. Okay, so these are the two conditions I have. Okay, so what are, what are the conditions? First is that when someone fills the form and select male as the gender, the data should be sent to the males sheet. And when someone select female, the data should be sent to the females sheet. Okay, this is the uh, uh, two conditions we have and according to this uh, if else logic condition, I want to set up the workflow. So guys here in the trigger I have connected with JotForm using this webhook URL and you already know how to do that. You just need to read the instructions and perform it. And after that I have filled the form manually to capture the response here. So this is the response we got and here is the first name, last name I have received, email address I have received, phone number and the choice the person has made as male. Okay. Now guys, for sending the data to the mail sheet, we need to create the route, the route for the mail form submitters. So here in the action step, we have this router option, select router. And here it will give you these two default routes. You can create many routes, conditional routes here by clicking on this add route button. And let me show you the set filter and action steps. So guys, I have up updated the name of the routes as well. The first route is for mail entry. So I have written here for mails and here it will give you this filter. From here, I can apply the condition that the person who have filled the form has chosen the mail option. So here it is asking to select the label, select the filter type and put a value here. So when you click here, guys, the trigger step will appear here like this. And when you click on it, you will find all the data that you have received right here. So from here, I'm choosing this label in which the person have selected male. Okay, then select the filter type equals to. And here we have to put the value which you have received in your trigger. Here you can see in the trigger, it is showing that you have received male. Okay, so you have to write manually as it is as you have received male with capital M A L E. Okay. So this means when this label gives you this value, then only continue this route. Okay. So click on save and send as uh, save and send test request button. And here you can see the message. This condition is true. So when this condition is true, what we want, we want to perform an action in Google Sheets. So click here on this plus icon. 
and select Google Sheets. Select the action event as add new row. Then click on connect. From here made the connection with Google Sheets by signing in. I have already made the connection so I am going to use my existing connection. I am clicking on save. And you can see we are connected. And here you have to select your spreadsheet's name. My spreadsheet name is this gender wise details. So I am selecting it from this given list. Okay. And then you have to select the sheet. So this route is for mail entries. So I am selecting the sheet name as mails only. Now it is asking for uh, uh, these details that I have here. These are the headers I have in this sheet. You can see name, email, phone number and gender. So to send the values here, you need to map the values in these fields from the trigger. So just map the details from, from the trigger. Just click here and from the details map the uh, first name label, then the last name label. For the email, map the email label. Okay, phone number and the gender. Okay, here is the gender. Now click on save and send test request to check your connection with spreadsheet and this data will be sent to the mail sheet. You can see this is the response. Let me show you here. And here we have received the data. Okay, so for the mail entry, the data is here in the mail sheet. The female sheet is still blank. Now it is time to replicate this route for females. Okay, so close this route. And I have this. Uh, uh, now the second route is here. Click on set filter and action steps. From here, guys, what you can do, just select the same label in the filter. The choose your uh, gender label. This one. Select the filter type same equals to. And then in the value, now you have to select the option which was female because this route is for females. So the entry should be female. Okay. Now click on save and send test request and here you can see the condition is false. Okay. Because the condition is false right now. The entry was of male, but in real time, whenever anyone is going to select female option, this condition will met true and this route will execute, not the previous one. Okay. So action would be the same to send the data Google to Google Sheets. So select Google Sheets here. Select the same app action event that is add new row. Use your save connections. Click on save and you will be connected again. And here now you have to select the sheets name as females for female entries. And then you have to map the data one more time. Now the shortcut to this process is you can clone the uh, first route. So you just have to uh, change the sheet here and the work will be done. So let me just map the things. Now guys here I have mapped the details and here in the gender field you can see I have selected the same uh, option that right now I have collected in the trigger. Here right now it is showing us the male in the label but in real time whenever someone is going to select female option the labels will be updated here automatically and the right data will be sent to the right place. That's why we do mapping here. So with the help of mapping, you just have to set up the automation only once. And after that, the labels will be updated according to the data received and the right data will be placed in the right sheet. Okay. So now you can just click on save here because we have already checked our connection and then close this and we are done. This is how you can set up this automation and in real time it is going to work according to the conditions. Let me show you a real time example here. So this is uh, my form. Let me fill in the details here. This is the details I am filling. Okay. And here is my number. And now guys I am selecting the gender as female. Okay. Here you can see in this spreadsheet this female sheet is right now blank. Male sheet is here. We have one entry female sheet is blank. Here I have selected female option and here I am submitting the form. Okay. Now let's see how it works. So the form is submitted and now let me show you directly my spreadsheet if we got the data entered. So I am opening the female sheet and here is the data you can see. 
So this is how it is going to work guys according to the your conditions the if else logic condition will work in your workflow and the data will be sent. So this is how you can implement if else logic inside Pabli Connect workflows. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the .com. You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.